And the Chinese Lantern Festival off to a brilliant start in Riverfront Park, but there are a few changes in the works. Well, after months of planning and construction, we finally got our first look at that much-anticipated Chinese Lantern Festival in Riverfront Park. More than 6,000 people paid to be among the first to see the lanterns, including 4,000 on Saturday's opening night. KXY 4's Allie Norton working for you. She joins us now live in Riverfront Park. And Allie, uh, festivities just getting started for tonight? They are Nadine and this has been a year in the making. The Riverfront Park crew has teamed up with the lantern makers Sichian Tan Yu to make all of this happen and they are very happy with how it's turned out so far, both how it looks and the turnout attendance wise. So are businesses. One will even tell you that it was a special weekend. For someone who doesn't have tickets to the show, Robert Hetner has the best seat in the house. It was spectacular. Uh, downtown was like a summer's evening. Dinner and a view. Hetner's hot dog stand is right across the street from the Chinese Lantern Festival. Each night, he watches as lanterns illuminate Spokane's Riverfront Park while making money off his hot dog stand. He figures he's made at least twice as much as he would on a Saturday night in September. And I, I stayed later. Normally I would go home in the early evening. I stayed till almost 8 o'clock at night. Just down the street, Rock City Grill saw a surge in customers from Friday to Saturday. It was crazy. We were busy for six hours. Uh, just tons of business and it was awesome. Had a great time feeding all the people coming to the Lantern Festival. The Chinese Lantern Festival brought in just over 6,000 people into Riverfront Park this weekend. Event coordinators say on opening night, there was a constant line to get in from 6 to 10 that evening. Line from here all the way, all the way to uh, close to the street. Sam Song, director of Riverfront Park, says they're adding more kiosks next week to alleviate that issue. He says that they want to accommodate 10,000 people per night. They want their friends to come back. That's what I hope too, or we as a team. And that's what businesses hope for too. It was really a very special weekend. <laughs> And there is already one change. Event coordinators are going to be doing away with the daytime entrance, so anybody who purchased a daytime ticket can either get a refund or go during the nighttime. They figure that people want to see the lanterns at night anyways. Nadine. Oh, that's the best way to see them for sure. And Allie, with all those thousands of tickets that they're selling, where's all this money going? Well, Nadine, it took about a million dollars to put on this event, so the money goes pretty much to sustaining it. Well, coming up at tonight at 630, we will break down the cost and the revenue for this event. Reporting live in downtown, I'm Allie Norton, KXLY4 News.